Welcome to another edition of our Sunday Night Showdown Breakdown here. This is Hold the Door DFS. Super excited to come back uh, again for another primetime slate. We do have the uh, Baltimore Ravens and New England Patriots, uh, a game that will be heavily focused on both quarterbacks, which I absolutely love. Uh, if you have not uh, hit that subscribe button below, give it a thumbs up, a comment. All that stuff is greatly appreciated. We hope you are loving all the free content we are putting out at Fantasy Sports Insight. And be sure to reach out if there's something that you're not seeing that you absolutely would like to see uh, in our channel. So let's dive in. Again, I will be using a 3-2-1 format, three of my favorite cash plays, uh, two of my favorite values, and one of my favorite fade, whether that be a, a receiving core, a team, vice versa. So let's get into the slate. Uh, we'll check our odds first here. Uh, it is a Sunday night showdown. So we are looking at Baltimore Ravens at New England Patriots and the road team, the Baltimore Ravens are a seven point favorite. Uh, now the, the total is pretty low because we know that both teams actually kind of prefer to keep the ball on the ground, uh, whether it be through their quarterback, which that's where I'm going to be funneling uh, a lot of my salary for cash uh, tonight. So let's hop into it. Uh, 43 and a half over under or total with a seven point uh, spread to Baltimore. All right, let's start out with the top here. We'll start with Baltimore. Lamar Jackson obviously is going to be uh, one of the most popular plays on the entire slate and it is definitely warranted. So Lamar Jackson uh, is not having the year he has had in the past or last year, I, I should say. Um, as you can see, he's still running the ball, uh, you know, 13 attempts last game, 16 the game before. He just hasn't been that efficient in the red zone throwing the ball. He's not he's not getting those uh, Mark Andrews uh, two yard touchdown throws on play action when they're selling out for the run. So I, th I think we see him uh, come back to a little bit more form. I don't think the 25 to 30 point expectation every game is really realistic long-term for any running quarterback, but I do think uh, he will be probably one of the most popular plays on this showdown slate. Um, and, and part of the reason is, is his other options are, are suffering really badly when he is not able to throw the ball and get those touchdowns. Uh, Marquise Brown at 10,000. I honestly, if the other options weren't so bad as well, I think he'd be just like a complete fade for me in cash. I still don't think I really like him. Um, he just, there's not enough volume to go to him when, when they're running the ball so often. So he needs that long touchdown or just a touchdown in general to pay off. He did it. He, um, you know, had, he's had two games with the touchdown. It looks like, and one, he didn't even go over 10 points. So it's just a short, short catch. So, um, it's just, it's going to be, and it's going to be a tough matchup if he has to face, uh, Stephen Gilmore, uh, if he is active. So be on the lookout for that, but Brown is GPP only for me. Continuing to go down with Baltimore here. Dobbins has been priced up and that price was uh, mainly reflective of the, the increased volume he had when Mark Ingram was out. Mark Ingram is a, is questionable, but expected to play. So right there, that means Dobbins is likely overpriced um, just as a running back by committee. Um, again, if, if you land in that spot, that's fine, but it's not something that I would, you know, completely uh, target. Uh, where you have somebody like Mark Ingram for now, you know, 1400 cheaper, uh, you know, I don't really know what his volume is going to be, but again, probably touchdown dependent to even pay off 7,000. Uh, Mark Andrews at 7,600, again, really going to be touchdown dependent, but again, so is Brown. So you're, I think you can consider Andrews maybe a little bit more just because he's like 3,000 to 2,500 cheaper. Again, you can just tell, and how I'm talking about the Baltimore Ravens here, I don't love, even though they're seven point favorites, it's really hard to target one of their secondary options after Lamar Jackson and cash, just because we don't really know um, what that is going to look like. And, you know, I, I think you're too expected would be Brown and Andrews um, through the air. Um, so in that, in that case, I'd lean Andrews as the cheaper option. Um, as we continue to go down here, um, Baltimore defense is 5,400. You know, I, I know Cam Newton is turnover prone, but that's still a little bit uh, pricey for me. Uh, Sneed Jr. has actually um, been, or not Jr., sorry, Sneed, Sneed the fourth, but um, has been better uh, than Brown and Andrews lately. So at 5,000, I think he's a great mid-range option. 
again, you know, seven targets against Pittsburgh, four against Indianapolis. Uh, they're just not, there's not a ton of upside there, but you know, he, I, I do like him for the cheaper price tag. Uh, Tucker 3,800, you know, one of the best, you know, fantasy kickers, uh, it seems like of all time, Baltimore is just so good at getting into the red zone. Then maybe they don't score. Tucker's like a automatic three points. So love Tucker there. Um, Folk is questionable. And I see that they have not put his um, backup kicker into the pool, even though Folk was also questionable last game. Um, but Tucker is a phenomenal value there. Here we get to another really uh, nice value play, potentially is Gus Edwards. If for some reason Ingram is out again, put Edwards in every one of your lineups at 2,400. If he's back, if, if, if Ingram is in, Edwards is still viable. But as, as you saw earlier in the year, you know, you're going to get five to 10 carries, maybe 40 yards, 30 yards. So at 2,400, I think that's okay, but you're not, it's not like the best value. I think 3,800. Tucker is a light, more likely chance to get to, to double digits. So um, Nick Boyle, you know, n nothing great. Probably, you know, could catch a short touchdown at 1400. So I guess, sure, maybe he actually had four catches last game. Um, but I don't really know that, um, you know, he had a 62% um, offensive snap share, 1400. I think you can make a case there. And then uh, where is my other uh, Boykin? Um, again, somebody that could see a, you know, saw a touchdown to get to value, but otherwise pretty thin play to get there. All right, let's move over to New England. Uh, New England starting out with Cam Newton will be this probably the second most popular play on the slate um, with Lamar Jackson. Now his, his receiving mate here in Myers is somebody that I am interested in. Because I think we saw last game, even though they were down and they had to come back against the Jets, that Jacoby Myers is somebody that he is looking to target. And, you know, 12 catches and 14 targets, you know, I, I like the, the reception rate there. Um, you know, 14 targets and 10 targets in the last two games. I think it's pretty clear that he is going to emerge as their top option with the absence of Julian Edelman. So, he is probably my third favorite cash play, uh, Lamar Jackson, Cam Newton, and Jacoby Myers. Um, Harris is questionable, and uh, you know I overpay. I think we overpaid for him against uh, the Jets just with all the the running back options available. And not only that, but he is still really touchdown dependent. They're not going to likely throw the ball to Harris. So here comes Burkhead or James White again. Just really, really tough. You know, I know he had the a big game the week before, but tough to get there for me. Burkhead and Whitehead or Burkhead and White are both viable, but also seem a little bit overpriced for what their volume is. James White, you're really hoping for a game script in which they need to throw the ball. But even though that was the case last time, he still only had six points. So um, they were down most of the game um, or in a spot where he could be out on the field and it didn't really make a difference. So don't really love either of them. Um, Bird was priced at, I think, 7,000 last night. What was it? 6,800. Um, did come through five catches on nine targets, really was game script dependent, but is is on the field almost the entire game. So 4,400, I think he's a great mid-range target. Uh, obviously, I mentioned Folk, he, you know, he could be available, should be. Um, Nikhil Harry, if he is back, um, this is going to be one to watch because it would definitely have an impact on somebody like Bird and uh, Jacoby Myers. Um, I think it would maybe make Myers too expensive, uh, still probably keep Bird viable, but then also make Nikhil Harry one of the best values on the slate at 3,200. I think if he was just already active and they knew he was going to play, I think you'd see him in the 5, 6K range, um, depending on uh, you know where they have him at, because he does have games early on, uh, eight catches, uh, had a touchdown. So uh, you know I think he's somebody that they do want to get back in the mix. So I think if he is active, I think you take a little bit of slight pause on Myers. I still think he's in play, but just a situation to monitor. Uh, the other situation to monitor would be the next, uh, one of the best values on the slate would be uh, potentially Sony Michelle. Um, he, if he's back, uh, I think, you know, we really look at, um, it's, it appears as if Michelle's closing in and making his first appearance since going on the injured reserve. Oh, but it will not occur on Sunday. So, uh, it looks like uh, he is going to be continued to be out. So 
Uh, scratch that. He is going to be out likely. And I think that makes Gus Edwards and Tucker my two favorite value plays. Lamar Jackson, Cam Newton, and Myers, my two favorite, my three favorite cash plays. And my fade is the secondary options for Baltimore that are too expensive, like Marquise Brown. So hopefully this gives you um, some great information and you are able to build your lineups. Uh, Make sure you get in our FSI Discord channel if you are not yet. Again, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. It is greatly appreciated. See you later.